What's up you guys, Avery here. I want to make another video talking about uh, falling out that I had with another new YouTuber. Now, this has been a long time coming, I feel, and I'm actually pulling up their channel right now. And I'm not going to say the name, well, I mean, I, I guess I kind of have to say the name of the person uh, who I had the falling out with. Now, before I get into this video, I want to say again that this is a long time coming because, you know, we had a falling out and uh, I, I just, I, we, I guess we both kind of mutually agreed just to never talk about it because it's never come up. At least as far as I know, uh, this person has never brought it up. I'm not going to get into specifics exactly what happened because I feel that that's just personal business of mine. All I'm going to say is that this individual treated me like shit and it took me a while to figure it out. Um, again, I want to make clear that, you know, you YouTubing is meant to discuss a card game, right? Take this person's content for what you will. If you think it's good, subscribe to his channel if he has good content, if you enjoy it. Don't let your uh, outside of Yu-Gi-Oh opinions of this person make you think that this person's a piece of shit. I don't talk to him because of the fact of what went down between us. Like I just said, me basically kind of getting treated like shit and telling him not to do certain things and then he would do it anyway. So, this is the one time I'm going to talk about it and then if anyone ever asks about it, I'm just going to say go watch the video because I'm not going to be talking about it ever again. Um, so let's just go to get into it. The person's name is Gage X Scapegoat. Now, for those of you who are big time veteran subscribers, you will remember him because we used to do a bunch of videos together. Um, I helped his channel out. He sent me a message one day asking what he would need to do to get on my channel. And um, I said, well, hey, you know, let's do a live stream. And we really hit it off. We became really good friends. I mean, we were like brothers. We were, we were pretty tight. Um, and essentially what ended up happening over quite some time was the fact that... Uh, we, we just, we sort of just didn't really get along anymore, you know. Um, we had a running joke. Sorry, I need to fix this camera here. This, ca this webcam's really bad. We had a running joke uh, from a live stream that we did quite a while back, and it was called Hashtag Racist Avery. I'm not racist. It was a running joke, something that one of us had said in a live stream, and then they were like, Avery, that sounds really racist. You must be racist. So it was a running joke that I was racist even though I was not racist so I had Gage on my uh, personal Facebook page well what he would do is take that joke and he would put it on social media <laughs> and what he would do is that he would take what was at the time my banner picture which was just me with sunglasses and like really zoomed in and it said uh, the hero of the format and then Gage was the anti-hero of the format because he never played meta and so what he did was he would post that photo on social media and tag me in it so that everyone from my Facebook could see it and you would see a um, you would see a Nazi flag in the picture and it would say hashtag racist Avery and he would tag me in it now I knew because of my YouTube channel obviously that this was an inside joke however people on my Facebook number one don't know about my fucking YouTube channel number two I don't tell them that I play Yu-Gi-Oh number three that just makes me look like a really racist person and that's not going to help me get a job in the future you know let's say I'm trying to apply for a job at a radio station and that's my career that's what I want to do and they see on my Facebook that I've got fucking Hitler flags all over my fucking Facebook page they're gonna think I'm fucking crazy or something so that was that um, I told him not to do it he constantly fucking did it which pissed me off um, and then he tried to justify it by saying, it shouldn't matter what your friends think. Your job's not going to see this. Yeah, my job was going to fucking see it. Um, but he was ignorant to that fact. So I was just kind of like, you know, whatever. So that happened. That was a thing. And uh, we kind of just went our separate ways. I told him, look, you know, I don't think this friendship's going to work out anymore if this is how things are going to be. And we just kind of stopped talking. Uh, he continued to make content. He's sitting at almost 1,800 subscribers, which is very, very impressive. Uh, 1,795 subscribers. So he's literally he's literally five subs away from 1,800 subscribers. 
um, which, you know, good for him. You know, he, he deserves it. He works hard at his channel. You know, it, it really does. He, he really does, you know, work hard at it. Um, but I just, you know, it, I'm not going to say he was one of the reasons why I've kind of not been uploading frequently because that's just been more kind of personal life stuff. Um, he's the one that made my intro. Uh, I know some people tell me that's a really nice intro. Well, it was because he made it and I just kind of continue to use it because I mean, a good intro is good. So, you know, there's that. Um, he made other friends with other YouTubers that I got connected with as well, um, and none of us have really spoken, uh, to each other. So, you know, un unfortunately, this is kind of the unspoken part about you YouTubing, is that sometimes you make friends and it just doesn't work out. Um, but if you guys want to subscribe to his channel, again, it's Gage X Scapegoat, uh, all one word. You know, he, he puts up good content, you know, don't let my our personal beef with each other kind of get in the way. I really don't honestly give a shit anymore. Like, if he were to come back to me and apologize for the fucked up shit that he did, you know, I would forgive him because I'm, I'm not going to hold a grudge. But I don't feel like he's ever going to contact me again, which is fine. I mean, I don't really give a shit anymore about, you know, <laughs> trying to make friends. You know, I just, if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, you know... I've been hurt too much in my past where I just don't give a flying shit anymore. So, I would kind of rather just sit down and crack open a cold one with the boys. So, this has been my story about just don't let people fuck you over, I think is is the main part of this. Um, you know, it is what it is. He's got his life, I've got mine. And uh, he puts up good content. You know, again, don't let my um, personal feelings get in the way of, um, you know some of the shit that we went through. The story I mentioned to you guys is not everything. Uh, there was other things that went on, you know, I guess what you would say behind closed doors. Um, we were very close friends. You know, we were we were great friends. We were like brothers. And uh, we watched each other's back. Um, I felt like he had my back until, you know, a certain point when stuff went down. And, you know, it just, uh, it wasn't all that good anymore. So... This has been somewhat therapeutic for me. This week has been kind of shitty. So, you know, anything to kind of get stuff off my chest while I kind of work through what I'm working through. And, you know, if you guys just saw my update video, then you'll know what I'm talking about. If you haven't watched my update video, I'd suggest you go and watch that. So thank you guys for watching, as always. Um, more content to come, I hope. I just, I really need to focus on my life right now. <laughs> life has been fucking shitty, man. God damn. Anyway. I can feel that my voice is going. Subscribe to his channel if you want. He's, you know, again, don't let the shit I say get in the way of this. I doubt he's going to make a video about it because he doesn't even watch my fucking videos as far as I know. Oh, excuse me. Um, but if Gage somehow happens to see this and you make a video about it, what's good, fam? <laughs> what's good, YouTube? I don't know. Uh, no shit being thrown his way. He's a good Yu YouTuber. You know, we had our falling out. It is what it is. I don't really give a shit anymore. But I wanted to talk about it because it's been like three or four years and neither of us have made videos about it. And as far as I know, he hasn't talked about it unless it's been a live stream because I don't watch his fucking live streams. Anyway, I'm done ranting. Thank you guys for watching as always and subscribe if you have not already.